Okay, question number eight from C12, June 2014, IAL. Um, binomial expansion question. Given that 1 plus 12x plus 70x squared is a binomial expansion in ascending powers of x of 1 plus bx to the power of n, where small n is an element of the natural numbers and b is a constant, show that n b equals 12. Now, all this means is that the uh, value of n, the power here, is a natural number. Natural numbers are the counting numbers starting from 1, the positive integers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the ones that you count with, the natural numbers. So they do not, they not include 0, they don't include any negative numbers, they don't include any fractions. Okay, show that n b equals 12. So for a question like this, I really prefer to use this method where I use 1 plus x to the power of n equals 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times x squared plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times x cubed and so on. Follows on in that pattern. Okay, I really prefer to use that method when we've got something like this. So let's start right at what we have. We have 1 plus bx to the power of n. And if we were to expand this according to this pattern, we start off with 1, we'll have plus the power times the x term, so it'll be n times bx, okay, plus, and then we only have to stop at the x squared term because that goes up to x squared. We have n times n minus 1 times uh, over 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, times bx, and then this is going to be squared. So basically, we can see, if we compare this to what we have up there, we have 1 plus nbx, and here you have 1 plus x, 12x. So if you compare the x's, all right, so we're going to compare the x terms. Okay, we can see, compare the x's, you're going to have nb and 12 being the same. So nb is equal to 12, simple as that. Okay, part b says, find the values of the constants b and n. Well, we also know if we compare the x squareds, okay, if we compare the x squareds, we're going to have, if we if we'll have this, which gives you, let's just continue this, 1 plus, okay, 1 plus n times n minus 1 over 2, over 2, times b squared x squared, times over 2, times b squared x squared. So if we compare the x squared terms, you're going to have 70 x squared, so 70, or let's start with the side. We'll have uh, n times n minus 1, n times n minus 1 over 2 times b squared is equal to 70. Okay, so we have here two equations. We have one from the x, which is nb equals 12, and one from the x squared, which is n times n minus 1 times b squared over 2 equals 70. So what we could do here is we could replace the b with n and see what happens. So if your b is equal to 12 over n, so let's see what happens if we replace the b with n. We'll have n times n minus 1. Okay, I'll multiply by 2, so there's going to be 140. Uh, and instead of b, I'm going to write 12 over n. So that's going to have to be squared. Okay, so when we deal with this, now we've got... We've done that to get rid of the b, now we've only got one variable n, and we can try to find what it is. So let's see what happens. You're going to have n squared minus n, and this will be times 144 over n squared equals 140. Okay, and let's multiply by n squared. So we're going to have 144 n squared minus 144 n is equal to 140 n squared. So I've just multiplied by n squared. Both sides get cancelled from this side, and I have to multiply this by n squared, and I've also multiplied out this bracket by 144. So now we can see that um, if I bring the n squared on this side here, I'm going to get 144 minus 140, which is 4n squared. So I have 4n squared minus 144 um, n equals 0. Okay, so now factorizing this, we can take uh, we can divide by 4 first. So we have n squared n squared minus 4 into 12 goes um, divided by 4, yeah, 4 into 12, 14, so it goes 3 times, remainder 2, 4 into 24 goes 6 times, so n squared minus 36n is equal to 0, so we can factorize n times n minus 36 
is equal to zero so either n equals zero or n equals 36 now we know that n is an element of the natural numbers so therefore n is equal to 36 it can't be zero natural numbers don't include zero start with one and all the positive integers so now we can find what b is we know that b is 12 over n okay so b is 12 over 36 so b is equal to one third and there we have found a n and b b n is equal to 36 and b is equal to 1 over 3 and we have finished that question